Hey, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about this. This is the Riot Bag R15. Um, it's a black rucksack. And it looks like your average bog standard black rucksack that you've ever seen. But it's not. This bag opens differently to the way any other bag I've ever had opens. Basically, you can see here, this is the bag your average clamshell rucksack but there's no zips on the outside of it here they're all on this side underneath so the zips are against your back when you're wearing this on your back like so the zips are in here so if you're walking down the street no one can unzip your bag reach in and take out any of your belongings i thought that was genius I don't know how somebody hasn't come up with this sooner as a concept. The company that makes the bag are called Riot, and that's R-I-U-T. The bag to me is just brilliant. It really is amazing. In general terms, the bag itself, like the build quality of the bag is solid. You know, it's a really comfortable backpack. The straps are really, really nice. Uh, they're much nicer than any other backpack or laptop bag that I've used. The bottom of it is kind of like a fake leather, uh, so it's good, it means that you can put it down, you don't have to worry about things getting stuck to it, to it getting too dirty or anything like that. So when you open the bag up, this is really where it gets interesting. The bag opens this way. Now you might think that that's a pain in the ass, it's not. Firstly, when you stand the bag up, the straps fold back over the outside really easily and that's clearly by design and um, so they don't get in the way so it just takes two seconds to fold the straps back you zip into the bag and it opens all the way so you have it kind of flat like this at a 90 degree angle or you can have it completely flat on its back and gain access to everything on the inside inside the bag you get kind of what you'd normally get there's like a little zip pouch which is along the outside of the bag uh, and any other bag i've seen this would be against this section here on the inside and um, so it's on the other side which is fine it makes absolutely no difference and it's like a little mesh pocket it's not completely sealed it's breathable so that's useful because it means that you can actually see into it you can see what you have in there and so far i've been storing like the rails from a nintendo switch for the joy cons i've been storing these as well which come with the bag so these just give you I don't know if that's gonna show up too well here. These give you the name and the logo of the company. So as I said, it's Riot and this is their logo. But these open out and they go the other way. Uh, and they're all, all colors, so that's pink. I've got red, blue, and green. And the idea behind these is that they can attach to the handle at the top or anywhere you want really. And you can put them with the silver part, which is vaguely reflective um, so you can put them with the silver part which is vaguely reflective uh, on top or you can put the colored part in and the idea behind this is basically just so you can kind of vaguely customize your bag so that you can identify if you're out and about and there's a couple of people with these bags and they've all got them kind of lying in the same place you know which one is yours because you have made yours more identifiable. So this bag itself is the R15 Riot bag. So this comes in three sizes. It comes in the R10, the R15, and the R25, I believe. Um, and what that is basically, it's just it's the capacity of the bag. So this is a 15 liter bag. The R10 is obviously a 10 liter bag, and the R25 obviously then is a 25 liter bag. So I went for the mid-size because I figured 10 liters wasn't going to be enough and I figured 25 liters was going to be just like ridiculous. If we look just inside the bag very briefly, you have two little snaps here and here and from that unfolds this mesh and this comes across here. So if you're packing like clothes or you've got stuff that you don't want to move around or you want to be able to open this out and gain access to anything here or if you want to lay things on top or you want to divide things, you've got these here to Basically, they're just dividers, and they divide up what's inside the bag. And then again, these fold away. What else folds away on this bag, which uh, I think is brilliant, are these straps. So you've got here the straps. To adjust the length on the strap, it's just like every other bag you've ever owned. But then on the end of the strap, there's a little elastic band. And what that allows you to do is you can roll these up like so 
and you just pull this elastic tab back over and they don't dangle down. So that's that and it kind of it stops the bag then from adjusting its length on the strap when you're carrying it. Once you kind of get past the differences of this bag, it's just sort of like any other bag. You've got pockets here and here for bottles. So it's just in either side. You've got a pocket just right here on the left hand side and a pocket here on the right hand side. So you can put like a water bottle or whatever you want in there. Um, if we close this back down, there's what they call a D pocket here. It's called a D because it's just shaped like a D. And it opens up and there's two inner pockets here. So you can keep like your phone, your keys, your wallet. I usually keep my access card for work, spare batteries for my camera and my keys all in this pocket here. This is quite heavily padded, this section here when it's on your back. So it's really comfortable, particularly if you've got it packed with a laptop and a whole other thing that's quite heavy. It's padded against your back. And what's also really cool is this center pad here. This actually lifts out. And the idea behind this is that if you have a travel case, you're carrying luggage, and it's one of those kind of cases with the handle that pulls out and it's on wheels, you can actually slide this over the handle and you can carry this on your travel case like that. So you don't have to carry it on your back. And I thought that was just a really nice touch. So if we get into this section here, there's this compartment in here, and it is designed for your laptop. If they say it takes up to a 15 inch laptop, I have a 13 inch laptop, it fits very, very comfortably in there. You've got these straps here, so they're just like, they're just basically elastic bands that go over the corners of your laptop, and they keep it nice and snug in this compartment. Then under here, there's another compartment, almost exactly the same as the laptop compartment, but a little smaller, doesn't have the uh, straps, and that would be where I would keep, say, my iPad. Yeah, and generally that's what I keep in there, or if I'm carrying like a folder or a binder or anything, I, I just I'd slide it in there, you get easy access to it. Then you've got this pocket here, uh, which again has the Riot logo, which is pretty cool. Um, it's just sort of printed on there. And it's nice, it's just like, you keep like I keep like USB sticks, basically like my pencil case. And then you've a bigger section in here. So it's like a bigger piece and there's another little pocket in here which is kind of handy if you've got anything small you can just dump it in there and what I keep in here is usually my cables like my USB cables for my hard drives and then everything else that I need to bring I just dump into the main body of the bag okay so this is my laptop this is like the most valuable thing that I carry around in my bag so this just slides in here and then I've got these two straps so they just over each corner, like so. So the laptop is now nice and safe. It's not going anywhere. And as I say, the bag now will sit upright because it has that extra weight in it. The next thing is if we just put these back in. I keep these just in here. And as I continue to use this bag, I'm sure I'll find more things that I want to keep in here. This is my action camera, it's like a GoPro. Um, and I keep that usually just buried in the bottom of the bag. My camera, which obviously is not in this pouch right now, uh, I would normally keep in here too. I usually keep maybe this mini Manfrotto tripod, and I've also got this Joby tripod that I usually keep in here as well. I always, always, always bring the charger for my switch. Uh, these are usually all the cables that I would have um, my USB sticks. Cables all go in here. I generally don't need as quick access to those as I would for some other stuff, so I keep those in this pouch. And then I've got these USBs, which I keep in here, and those I do need to be more readily available. This bag kind of crushes here, and the advantage to that is if I just zip this up, so it's fully closed right now. If I need to grab one of those USBs, I don't need to open the bag all the way out. I can open it to here, I can crush this bit back, and I get it here. So that's really, really slick. It's the same if I just need to take out my laptop or if I just need to go for my iPad, I can just reach in. I don't need to actually take everything out of this bag. One last bit of the bag that I haven't talked about is up at the top here. And um, there's another tiny pocket here, which I completely forgot to mention, is this pocket here. It's just a small little pocket right in the top of the bag. 
and you can keep your sunglasses or I keep my sunglasses in there and I think that's pretty much what that's for. I want to put these on now just so you can see how they work. So there's a little rail on the strap just here and that's it there and there's a little flat point right at the very top of that. So the way it works is the rail, this little plastic clip just slides in over the flat part like so. You just force it down and it will then be attached to the bag. And that goes both sides. This also has another one of those really slick elastic bands around the strap here so you can adjust the length of it but you don't have all the excess hanging down and then you just drag these kind of down quite low on the strap so you kind of want when you have this on you kind of want it down a bit low and the reason for that is quite simple if I just throw this on really quickly here and then twist the strap they're basically as low down on the straps as they go. And they cut me there, right there. So that's it, so obviously right now I don't feel like I need these in the slightest. But in general, uh, if I'm carrying anything heavy, really handy. It's just another little thing that the creators of this bag have thought about. Like they just put so much thought and effort into every single part of this bag. It's designed for commuters, it's designed for people who are worried about things being taken out of their bag. It is just a really, really clever bag. It's really well designed. I just don't know how this hasn't been done until now. That's this video. I really hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you do like this video and you want to see me make more videos like this, please let me know in the comments and I'll do it. I'd love to get your feedback. I'd love to know what you guys want from me on this channel. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe. Okay, 